Good morning, community. It's Pastor Curtis, and I'm excited as the weather's getting a little bit warmer. Uh, hopefully it lasts. Um, Andrew had his first outdoor baseball practice, so I had to wear my Royals shirt today as spring training starting, and so um, that always is kind of a sign that spring is not far behind. So excited about that. So I decided I was going to live that out today. Um, but today we're reading Psalms chapter 35 to 38. And as I was reading through the text, chapter 37 just kind of connected and, and stood out to me today. Um, it's an interesting way because it's really King David comparing the righteous versus the wicked would be the word wording that he used. Um, and he used some strong language in there and understanding those differences. Um, the, what I kind of connected with it is um, the way that he talked especially about um, the righteous and the ways that we are called to live life and the way that we can do that and the examples that he shared. And in chapter 37, verses uh, 7 and 8, he says it this way. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way, over those who carry out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only leads to evil. For the wicked shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. And that just really stood out to me about the language that here's um, King David reminding us to be patient, to wait on the Lord, to know that the God, that God is working for us. Um, but this was also his way of kind of talking about the what today's language is of keeping up with the Joneses. We look at those around us and we think, oh, look at how much stuff they have compared to what we have. And that just is not healthy. And we have to be able to find um, comfort and peace in having enough of, of what we have and knowing that God it continues to work and that in the end we will inherit the the great prize of salvation through Jesus Christ which brings eternal life and so my hope for you today is that you will read through this text and, and find some hope and to know that we can patiently wait and have expectation that God is going to move and that we can find joy and hope in that waiting, but also in the living, uh, following God. Let us pray. Holy and awesome God, we do just thank you for this day and the beautiful weather. Um, it, it's just a nice sign of what is coming before us. And so God, as we think about new life, as we think about hope, um, God, we pray that you just remind us to follow you, um, to not get distracted or to compare ourselves to others, but rather to see you and to know that you are with us each step of the way, leading and guiding us, and, and that we can continue to be faithful in our waiting and, and, and in, our, in our expectation that you are going to move in our lives. And so, God, we just pray today um, that you help us to open our hearts, open our minds to see you and, and to be ready for you. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.